Um, even though not everybody is here, I will call the meeting to order. And uh, because we're all appearing remotely, we need to identify ourselves. So Jack McCullough, Mayor. Uh, yep. Carrie Brown, District 3. Uh, Sal Alcano, District 2. <laughs> Down to date, District 1. All right. Um, the first item is to approve the agenda. Any uh, changes to the agenda? Oh, look, here's Lauren. Lauren, when you get your camera and mic turned on, would you please uh, identify yourself? Hi, this is Lauren Hurl, District 1. I'm on the road, so I'm going to keep my camera off because I have sketchy cell service. <laughs> but okay, cool. I can hear okay, I think. Great, thank you. Okay, next item on the agenda is general business and appearances. So the agenda is approved, I take it. Didn't hear anything. <laughs> next item on the agenda is general business and appearances. It's an opportunity for any member of the public to address the council on any topic that is not on today's agenda. I don't see any member of the public who's uh, seeking to be recognized, but... Uh, So we'll move on to uh, item six on the agenda, appoint a voting representative for the League of Cities and Towns annual meeting. Um, so the, the the VLCT town fair is coming up next week. Uh, it's a great training opportunity. I think it's sent out to people. You're welcome to attend that anyway, uh, but there is a business meeting where they vote on policy stuff and elect officers. And each town is allowed one voting member, but it has to be designated by the elector, by the elected body. Uh, and I forgot to put it on the last week's agenda. Uh, so uh, since we had to have this meeting about the FEMA thing, I um, figured we'd throw it in this time. So it means showing up at Tuesday in South Burlington at two o'clock and waving a thing in the air when you want to vote. Yeah, I mean, I usually remember it and. and try to be the rep, uh, but I'm not, I'm not have the time this year, but it's really worth attending. I encourage other council members to do it. Anybody else who is interested in attending, I'm, I'm still a question mark because I have a, a court hearing uh, that morning. So may or may not, that hearing may or may not happen, but I may or may not be available, but I'll try to be there if, uh, if I'm free, but if I'm not free, not yeah so our choices are um we we could designate someone if they don't show up we just don't vote which is you know probably 40 or 50 towns usually vote out of 200 um and the other thing would be you it doesn't have to be a council member it's always great it's always better when it's an elected official but you can designate a staff person as well to be uh, so I, i'm on the board of directors so uh, in fact, I'm, I'm on the ballot to be elected president, so it probably shouldn't be me. Uh, <laughs> well, who else? What other staff members are going to be there? I wasn't. Kelly, planning. Kelly, going to be there? So I was planning on attending, um, but I was also touch and go with a few other things. But I, if if you need me to be there, I will definitely be there. I really wish I could go. Um, I absolutely can't. My day is completely blocked off already, but um, it looked fascinating, and I'm, I'm sorry to not have the chance to go. Do you happen to know if the city clerk's going? I I don't know. I, he hasn't said anything to me about it, so maybe. He could be a voting rep, too. <laughs> yeah. Do, do we have the ability to uh, appoint uh, a representative and an alternate? We can try. Well, why don't I put my name in to say I will I'm willing to I would like to be the representative if I'm able to be there. And I, I think there's a good chance I'll be able to be there and then have Kelly be the alternate if uh if I'm not able to be there. So so I'll uh, make that motion. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. 
Any other discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Next we have item seven, uh, emergency authorization for the city manager. So uh, you may recall that right after the flood, you adopted an emergency authorization for up to a million dollars for immediate contracting. And that expired, we, we, and Mr. this one too, it uh, expired on August 23rd. Uh, we now understand with FEMA that anything over 250, now that we're out of the incipient emergency has to be. So anyway, I don't think we're gonna have that much, but we're basically saying just extend it drop the limit to 250 and have it go from back backdated to August 23rd to I can't remember what we put for the end date. I, I don't actually think there's going to be that much, but just in case we need to do something quickly, um, it would extend that authority. All right. Is there a motion to that effect? And the text is in the uh, in the packet. Oh, it's still moved. Second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, I don't see any other business. Does anyone want to make a council report, mayor's report, city clerk's report, or city manager's report? Yeah, let's have lunch. Sounds like <laughs> a <laughs> Okay, Hear, hearing no other business, so uh, we'll uh, adjourn at 12.06 p.m. Thank, Thank you. Folks. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.